the next topic on our list, Gonky, you wanted to talk about the Boeing yeah. refueling drone and whether drones. you would do that. Drones. How do you feel about that? I did it a little bit, um, so to speak. So <laughs> Boeing del- <laughs> so Boeing delivers the MQ, was it 25? For, uh, for yeah, and, and I'll point out, we've skipped this topic quite a few times because I originally picked this because Wombat was going to be on. <laughs> <laughs> and it had the E2 refueling off of it. So, yeah, which I think is, a, is kind of a new capability for the E2 because it's, <clears throat> yeah, you know, so when both, you can fly for 10 hours, why not fly for 20 if you can refuel? They're both learning. <laughs> so, we've got two sides <laughs> learning. We've got the AI learning and then Wombat's. Um, uh, he's not here. To def- he's not. You cannot bully him right now. We're not here not to bullying. defend himself. This is not bullying, Gonky. Okay. You should, you know what? You need to learn how to recognize bullying so you can stop bullying people because right. this is not bullying let's this get bullying back into this deep intel all on right, the sting all right, oh, all right. so <laughs> mooch i love you um hey so they deliver <laughs> they deliver this thing for testing and honestly it's a long time coming i i flew i caught the tail end of the s3 and the s3 originally was designed as a anti-submarine uh platform and then it just kind of as that mission i don't know kind of went to you know helos p3s whatever uh they became the primary tanker and the s3 was a fantastic tanker it could actually carry gas to give you um and it wasn't loud and obnoxious then they you know the super hornet came along and is going to replace everything including the s3 and it was going to be a tanker and I will tell you that the Super Hornet is by far the worst tanker I've ever tanked off of. Like, I'm not sure I could design a worse tanker. Uh, incredibly loud, and they can't give you much gas. Uh, while they're five wet, they're burning a ton of fuel because there's so much drag. So they're, they're burning the gas they're supposed to give. They can't give that much. It's, it's not good. So I don't really like the idea of drones coming, but uh, if there's one mission I would give to a drone, it would be tanker. Uh, especially around the ship because i mean you could just launch this thing instead of a manned super hornet to do circles above the ship for you know the recovery or <clears throat> uh, you know just organic uh tanking you can launch this thing so stingray's got 15 16 000 pounds of fuel so <clears throat> you know i think no problem it's going to be able to give maybe you know depending on how many airplanes uh, are in the launch or the recovery you're going to be able to give at least 1500 pounds of gas to probably four or five airplanes uh whereas the super hornet i used to you know by the time i joined on him it's like hey man I, I, how much can you give me we can give you 500 pounds i'm like it took me 500 pounds to get here <laughs> you know so uh i man i hope you know i hope the uh the testing goes well and i hope they're able to get it out there i'm still really not convinced on the whole unmanned thing around the carrier because it's such a dynamic environment but um, I'm just an operator and there's people way smarter than me working on these things. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it pans out, but it, uh, the Navy definitely needs a better, a better, uh, carrier tanker. How much space does it take up on the ship? Probably not any more than, I mean, it's similar size to, yeah. you know, an F-18. And you know, the other thing the article mentioned was, <clears throat> uh, you know, you're saving flight hours, you know, you, when you, a lot of people maybe don't know it, but you know, the, there are super hornets, the pylons are canned out, right? So you stick, it's five wet, right? So you've got all yeah. these p- pylons out there that are sticking out like this. So, you know, it's, it's tremendous stress on the airframe. So by having an unmanned aerial tanker out there, you're saving flight hours on F 18s that could be used for tactical stuff. And we'll talk about it a little bit later, but you know, the plan is to get super hornet, you know, probably beyond 2040, and they ain't going to happen if you burn up all your flight hours. And while I was in, shocker, uh, when the Super Hornet was designed in the 90s, we weren't, you know, blowing holes in the sand. Well, we spent 20 years blowing holes in the sand, which burned up a lot of the uh, yeah. flight hours yeah. in the Super Hornet. So when the Navy guys were doing their planning and they were doing long range planning, they're like, well, Super Hornet should get us all the way to here to whenever the, you know, F-35, I'm sure. I, I don't know if they knew the F-35 was coming then or not, but, you know, it... <clears throat> It, it really compressed the the timeline for them based on just burning flight hours and tanking in a fighter 
to me is just a horrible idea across the board. Whatever. Tanking from a fighter, you mean? Like tanking from the fighter and being the tanker. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Tank being the tanker as a fighter. Yeah, it's it's a yeah. horrible waste of the fighter, of the pilot. Um uh, and like I said, as a tanker, it's not very good. It doesn't give much gas, and it's incre incredibly loud. You, the the burner cans are like right here. Yeah, it's not something you think about. Yeah. No, you can't hear anything. You got the the radios turned up full blast. Your teeth are rattling. Yeah. It's uh, no bueno. How much gas did this thing say it would take? It carries fifteen or sixteen thousand pounds. Uh, I I don't imagine it burns a whole lot of fuel. They say it has a five hundred mile range, but to be honest, if you're if no. you're the recovery tanker, you're just doing circles over the ship. What's what's a normal offload for recovery? You're just taking a couple thousand pounds just to get <clears> you to. Uh, well, it depends on what the tanker can give. Anywhere from five hundred to fifteen hundred pounds is typically what you would get out of. Yeah, so you're not. You're not. I mean, so fifteen to sixteen thousand pounds will actually get you quite a few. Yeah, so, with decent give, like you know, you probably get yeah twenty five hundred pounds stuff like that now. You know, <clears throat> it depends on, you know, if you're, if you've just taken off and you just want to top off. So like if we were doing, mm. uh, like <clears throat> self escort strikes, so I would take off and I would go and I would top off. And, you know, if I took 1500 pounds, I would top me off. No problem. So I had full tanks, uh, to go, but you know, if you're coming back from like, you know, in my case, Afghanistan, Iraq, and you were getting low on gas, you know, you would take what you could get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Gonky. Uh